Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today I want to have a little bit of fun and modify my wife's Escalade and not tell her about it. See if she notices. Let's go. Now you may remember we had these one and a half inch spacers made by Rich here. I think that's the name. They were on my AT4 sitting out here. Now I have aftermarket wheels that have a different offset than the factory. So I didn't need the spacers anymore, but they're just sitting around collecting dust and they're still in mint condition. I think we'll put them on here because they're going to do the same thing that they had done on the AT4, which is push the wheels out a bit so we could have a more aggressive stance and have them line up with the side a little better with the fender. So if you look at the front here, it's tucked in quite a bit. The front is actually tucked in more than the back, at least that's what it looks like visually. They're probably the same, but it just looks like it's more recessed in for the front. And I think that coming out an inch and a half might look good, might be too much. I think we'll figure it out. Nice thing about spacers is you can always take them off. But let's put them on, see if Mrs. Dawn's life notices and check out her reaction. First, we gotta get these off, but we need a locking nut. GM should have given it to us. So it should be in here. Oh, look at that, like it was planned. These here will fit perfectly. They're the same hub as the GMC Sierra AT4. Now this is hub centric. So this inner bevel here will actually fit perfectly around here. And then it's also lug centric. So it'll make sure that it's pulled right to the middle of each lug. And then these are gonna need to be torqued to spec. I had Loctite on these before with my GMC Sierra. I'm not gonna put it on here this time, at least right now, because we don't know if we're keeping these on here, but you do have to torque these twice. And what I mean by that is once this is put on, you need to put these lugs on, you need to torque them, then your wheel, torque it. Then you're gonna have to take that wheel off in about 50 miles, and then you have to retorque these again, make sure that they didn't back off, then put your wheel back on and torque that again, and then drive another 50 miles and then torque that again. So there's a lot of torquing involved. All right, so when I let this down, I'm not gonna let you see what it looks like, at least for not from the side profile, because I want you to be just as surprised as Mrs. Dawn's life. And it could be a good surprise, it could be a bad surprise. I guess we'll see. We got one side done and I am on the fence. Let's just get this side done, make sure it's washed nice and clean, and then we'll get Mrs. Dawn's life. She doesn't know what we're doing and we'll see if she even notices. Man, I tell you, these Canadian winters, like look at the chocolate milk line right there, but air ride much? Look at that thing. Any 
any lugs, I always start off by hand. I want to grab the first few threads properly. I'm uh, not willing to take the risk of just using the impact and then pushing it on and if the threads cross thread, well then we got a problem. All right, they're installed, it went off without a hitch. I'm just gonna wash it up really nice and then we'll do the reveal with Mrs. Don's life. This is Dawn's life. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I'm scared. I washed your truck really, really, really well. Oh, Probably. did you do the inside? No, I didn't oh. do the inside. We'll do that soon enough. <laughs> That's but, not a surprise. But hold on. We're going to go outside. I washed your truck really well and I want you to see if you notice a difference. Okay. Okay? Okay. Come on, give me your hand. Close the door. Okay. Close the door. Okay, okay. Okay, we got to be quick. Okay, okay. It's a big deal. Okay. Okay, that's your truck. Yeah. We gotta ask you something very, very serious here. <laughs> okay. What is that? I don't know. I wondered what that was like the other day. If I was driving, people might think that I'm <laughs> leaving powder on Yeah, things. but it's all over. I don't know what it is. I wiped some of it off. It's like chalky. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Something got into my window maybe? I don't know. Okay, in all seriousness though, there's something different about your truck. Come, come over here. Come to the front. It's clean. What's different? It's clean. It's, it's clean. Really clean. Like the black yeah. is black. Come on, you gotta see it. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Are my wheels sticking out more than usual? Yes, your wheels are sticking out. <laughs> How did you know? Because they're sticking out more How than usual. How could you tell? You because can just they're tell. Not, they're not sticking in like the Fords are sticking in. You're a car girl. Out. Yeah, they're not sticking in. Yeah, no. Yeah, I took the spacers off the AT4 and I put them on your truck. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You like it? Yep. They always say that you're mean. Well, now it looks mean. <laughs> Would you agree? I gotta be this little girl driving this big mean vehicle, yeah. Well, Mrs. Dawn's life approved, so that's a good thing. I think it looks pretty good. We do have to do a shakedown test though and make sure it doesn't rub on the fender wells here. I did take it for a little test drive a minute ago off camera. I didn't hear any rubbing, but time will tell. But uh, so far, I think it looks pretty good. Don't know if I keep it on in the winter because we're going to get extra splatter for sure with this sticking out just a little bit more, especially on the front. That's a risk, but this is wrapped, so it's protecting the paint somewhat. So we'll see. Don't know if we'll keep it on there long term, but we'll run it for now. So I'm gonna leave a link for these spacers that I use in the description below, as well as a link up here and below to the original video when I installed them on my GMC Sierra AT4. If you wanna know more about them, check that out. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.